Towards the end of 2020, Google announced they would start making changes to their Google My Business Insights to give you more detailed information about the performance of your Google My Business listing across Google Search and Google Maps. They've now done it and rolled out the first set of new reports which shows how searchers interact with your listing, which includes how many phone calls or messages your listing triggers over time. If you already check the performance of your listing regularly, you might think there is nothing particularly new here because similar data already existed in the old Insight report, but I would beg to differ, and you will find out why in a minute. For those of you who don't take the time to look at your Google My Business performance, I would encourage you to check this new set of reports, which will really help you improve your performance. Remember, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. To access this new data, go to Google My Business and log into your Google account. From the left-hand side menu, click on Insights. At the top of the page, you should see a message that says your insights are moving and that your metrics will move to a new look report and more metrics will be added in a few months. Click on the See New Profile Performance link, which will open a new pop-up screen giving you access to a range of metrics. The real novelty here is the fact you can select a time frame which extends to a six-month period instead of three months that was available in a previous version. It's also way more specific as you can select the exact months you want to check or a particular start and end month. Once you've selected the period you're interested in, you will see how visitors have engaged with your listing via the total number of interactions your Google My Business listing has triggered over the chosen period. Interactions are the total of phone calls and messages combined your listing has received. You can look at phone calls and messages separately by toggling across the appropriate tabs. Numbers are broken down by months, but if you select a specific month, you will be able to access the daily figures. One of the new features I like is the automated year-on-year -year comparison that gets displayed right here, giving you a precise idea if you've made any progress or not from the previous year. Scrolling down the window will show the list of search terms people typed in Google, which resulted in your listing to be displayed in the results for the period you have selected. The year-on-year -year performance will also get displayed. This is golden because if you've spent time and money trying to increase your Google My Business listing visibility, this will be a great indicator if it has been successful or not. Initially, you only get to see the top five keywords, but if you click on the See More button, you'll get access to the full list along with the number of times they were searched for. You can use this data further and investigate how much coverage your listing truly gets for the most popular keyword. To do this, head over to geomappy.com. Geomappy is a tool that enables you to accurately track how well your listing is ranking in Google Maps for any given keyword across a certain area. Once you've created an account, setting up your business profile is easy. Just click on the Add Campaign button and search for your Google My Business listing, which should be detected automatically. When you've found it, just click on the I found it button to continue the process. Verify that the location information is correct and select the size of results area you want to check from your GMB location. I personally normally go for 5 miles since ranking beyond this in Google Maps can be very difficult. Then choose if you want the scan to be automated and if yes, at which frequency. I would recommend to leave the default no automation here, but it's up to you. Then click next. At this point, you will be asked to enter the keywords you want to track for your listing. This is where our Google My Business keyword report comes in handy. Select the most popular search terms that trigger your listing in search results and add them to the keyword list you want to track. Remember to separate them with a comma. Once you are finished, click on Start Tracking. Your profile is now ready to go. To launch your first scan report, click on the Campaign button, which will generate a breakdown of the credits required to run the scan. If you're happy with it, just click on Execute and the scan will start. You should see a progress bar indicating the scan is processing. This should only take a few seconds. Once completed, just click on the View option to launch the map and analyze the ranking results. 
I'm not going to go through the map results of this profile in details right now since I've only created it for you to understand how GeoMappy works. Instead, I'm going to look at a profile I set up in GeoMappy previously called Excel Electrician, which is the profile we have been looking at in Google My Business. I have used the top five keywords from the report and I've already run the scan. So let's just click on view to see the ranking results for that business. From the Google My Business keyword report, I can see the keyword that triggers this profile the most often is electrician near me. But when I check how well it ranks in Google Maps for my listing, the best position is number seven. So what does that mean? It means it's unlikely this listing is generating any calls or messages for this particular keyword as it doesn't rank high enough. This is not great news since the listing is for an electrician. But there is a very good reason why this listing ranks so low for this term. This is because the website for this business is optimized for emergency electrician related terms and not electrician. This is a commercial decision this client made since electrical emergency calls tend to generate more revenue. So if I now check the listing visibility for emergency electrician near me, which is the second keyword on the Google report list, you can see the results are widely different. The listing holds a lot of number one and two positions over a wide area, meaning it will be included in the map pack results very often. This is likely to generate a lot of calls and messages from prospective clients just for this term. Let's now look at the third most popular keyword on the report list, local electrician. The results here are very interesting. Despite the website being optimized for emergency electrician, the listing ranks well and holds one, two and three positions. This means Google sees this business as a relevant option for this term. And although the visibility doesn't stretch as far as in the previous example, I can see it ranks number four in about three different spots. This is great because with a bit of optimization work, there is a big chance it could climb to number three or higher, meaning it would also be included in the map pack and generate more interactions. Without running these keywords in GeoMappy, it would be very difficult for me to understand how far this listing reaches for any given keyword. It also proves there is a very strong correlation between your Google My Business listing and the content on the page of your website it is associated with. GeoMappy is not free, but there is a seven day free trial. And if you fancy trying it out, I'll put a link in the description below. You can use a special code that will give you 500 free credit, also available in the description below. Going back to the Google My Business Performance Report, it is definitely a step in the right direction and very helpful, but there are a couple of drawbacks. Firstly, it doesn't include the number of people who click through to your website or the number of direction requested from your listing. I understand this is likely to come soon though, so keep your eyes open. Right now, there doesn't seem to be any option to download the data, which is a shame if you want to add it to your own custom reports and track your performance beyond six months. I feel confident, however, that over the coming months, Google is likely to add such functionality and many other reports. So keep checking. That's it for today. As always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.